Hello geometry students, Mr. Zazik back and better than ever we are doing lesson Regents Review 2. We're going to look at equation of the perpendicular bisector of a line and equations of lines. So we've got another kind of uh, common question that's asked in a couple different forms. We're going to do two, um, we're going to do that two different ways here. So I want to begin by looking at um, this first question here, and it says, question 12, this is from June 2016. Line segment NY has endpoints negative 11, 5, and Y is 5, negative 7. What is the equation of the perpendicular bisector of NY? All right, so this is our, we have a little song, A, B, C, easy as 1, 2, 3, easy as write the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line. One is the slope, two is the midpoint, three is the point slope formula line. One is the slope, two is the midpoint, three is the point slope formula line. A, B, C. Easy as one, two, three. Easy as do, re, mi. Write the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line. All right, so what is our slope? Well, slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It's the rise over run. It's the slope formula. What's the midpoint? x1 plus x2 divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2. The midpoint formula, that's for you. You have to add and divide by 2. What's the point slope formula? Y minus Y1 equals M times the quantity of X minus X1. Y minus Y1 equals M times the quantity of X minus X1. All right, so lots of formulas to know, but those are things that you definitely need to know. No excuses. Got to memorize them. Learn the song, sing the song, understand the song. So if we label our points x1, y1, we start off and let's just get the slope of ny. So it's going to be y2, negative 7, minus y1, over x2, minus x1. So always put that second number in parentheses, especially if it's negative. So we've got negative 12 over uh, positive 16. That has a common factor of 4. So this, the slope of NY is going to be negative 3 fourths. That means that the perpendicular slope, because the line that we have is going to be perpendicular to that line, is always the negative reciprocal. So that would be positive 4 thirds. So the idea of the perpendicular slope, we're looking for the negative reciprocal. So that's kind of step one. Step two is the midpoint. So it's the perpendicular bisector. A bisector is always going to go through the midpoint. So let's figure out what the midpoint is. I'll just use a little different color to try and not make this too chaotic. So negative 11 plus 5 divided by 2, comma, y2 plus negative 7 divided by 2. And so we have for the midpoint is going to be uh, negative 6 divided by 2 would be negative 3. And then 5 plus negative 7 is negative 2. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So what you have now is you've got a slope and you've got a point, and this is going to be your new x1, y1 to go into the point slope formula. So which is y minus y1 equals m times the quantity of x minus x1. So we're going to do y minus negative 1. Again, the negative 1 is coming from our midpoint equals the perpendicular slope, 4 thirds, and then x minus negative 3. So this minus a negative is really like adding. And so that is choice number 1. All right. 
That's the probably the most work version of it. Okay, so next up we've got this one from, uh, this is uh, June 2017. Similar question, but asked in a little bit of a different way. And it says, what an equation of a line that is perpendicular to the line whose equation is 2y equals 3x minus 10 and passes through negative uh, 6, 1. So what's different in this question is the way we find the slope. So what we want to do is we want to rewrite this in y equals mx plus b form. So right now we have 2y equals 3x minus 10. Well, if we divide everything by 2, that equation is y equals 3 halves x minus 5. So the slope of this line is 3 over 2. Well, we don't want the slope of that line. We want to write an equation that is perpendicular. So the perpendicular slope to that line will be the negative reciprocal. So we change the sign and we flip the fraction. Now we know it goes through the point here. That's going to be our x1, y1. So we know the slope of our line. We know a point that it passes through. We're going to use the point slope formula. y minus y1 equals m times the quantity of x minus x1. So we do y minus 1 equals negative 2 thirds x minus negative 6. So what's different in this one is now our choices, though, are not written in point slope form. They're written in slope intercept form. So I cleaned up that sign, made it a positive. We're going to distribute negative 2 thirds x. Negative 2 thirds times 6 is negative 4. And then we're going to add 1 to both sides. And this is negative 2 thirds x minus 3, which would be choice 2. Okay. Um, one of the things you can do in these multiple choice questions is once you figure out the slope, some people do it the way they do it, is then they plug it into your graphing calculator and see which point goes through, um, which of the equations goes through that line. So if you know the slope is negative 2 thirds, you know it has to be 1 or 2. Some people do it that way. Okay, so again, another commonly uh, asked question. You see it in, in both of the last two Junes, we've seen it. Um, what they could do is they could ask for you to show the parallel. Uh, equation parallel, and when it's parallel, uh, it has the same slope. All right, I'll see you back here in uh, video three very soon.